Hey, I'm Margie with the Asking Spot. And this go around we're asking, can I fix my car seat? It's a definitive no. What? Why? No, I Why? can't. This is not a how-to. This is a how not to. Um, I tried a couple of ways of fixing it, and here's how it went. Okay, so this is a chair. It is the front seat, driver's seat, and I gotta say that seam rip in there, that happened maybe two years after we got the car. We just never had time to bring it in, so we just slapped a car seat over it and forgot it was there. Now, with that, I know full well that the method I'm using this using some fishing wire and a curved needle. Yeah, I know that that's not gonna work, but it'll do. So I'm pressing on. So my plan was, is if I could get those seams together, maybe I could just kind of blend it in with the other part I got, which is this product. Now, I have used JB or JD Weld products before. I used it for their steel putty. So loved it. To the point where I'm out now looking for pieces of metal objects that are in need of desperate repair because it works that well. We all need a hobby. This, however, didn't. Now, here's the thing. I followed the instructions as well as I thought I could. Um, I cleaned the seat and um, which, by the way, heads up, Magic Array sponge works like a charm to clean these seats. I went ahead and did that. Just water on it, rubbed it on. It was great. Then I went ahead and put on the product that you're supposed to to fill the damage. Now, again, I know that where I sewed that seam together, that's an orthodox and it's not gonna do much good there. I just thought I could blend things in. And I really, if it doesn't work, I don't blame it. It's the other parts, the other kind of cracks, the things that are supposedly relatively easy to fix and kind of common. So I went to town on those sections with this stuff. And I did what they said, I put it on, tried to make sure that, you know, it was smooth enough and filled enough and then i went and put the textured paper on it and i left it for 24 hours so next day doesn't look good let's try it again another day another way so the next day it was time to add the color now, this is where things get kind of mm, not so good. And I can't be sure if I can say, oh, it's just this product doesn't work and it's bad because we ordered this online and then we had it in the house for probably a month or so. So I don't know if maybe shipping or just not getting right to it or what. I kind of highly recommend you go ahead and buy it directly from a store, I guess, even though I will have a link to it in the description below just because you might have better luck with it. But here was the problem. I went online, read all the instructions about how to get the right color match and everything for the chair we had. And the problem was the white. It was supposed to be, that was the, like the larger section or at least a third of the color mix was supposed to be white. The white in this, it was solid. It had dried up. So I kind of scraped together some of it and it was kind of a gooey mess. Uh, needless to say, this did not go on well and did not look great. So that frustration over, I tried a different route and I went with this. texture left behind it was a little bit dry yeah I, but you know what I've driven the car now a few times and it didn't rub off on me so 
okay. That being said, would I buy these again? You know, the paint was the one that I would go with. I would like to try the filler again with the JB Weld, if maybe I could buy it in a store in person so that if I came across the white paint being all dried out, I could go back. But honestly, I kind of wonder if all that mixing and matching probably would have gotten better results, but how much of a headache would it be to do that? So in the end, uh, I can't really say either one of them like was a wow, run out and buy this. And of course, there are so many ways it could be my fault you think? or just the age of the product when I got it. There's a lot of variables, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that you could end up with a hot mess like this. And if you're not hugely particular, well then hey, this will work. But otherwise, you might want to take your car to see an expert to get it fixed. So there we have it. If you don't want to subscribe, I kind of get it. This was not a how-to. Um, but, you know, if you think I might have saved you some time and money, or maybe just made you feel better about not having it work well for you, thumbs up would be nice. Greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching The Asking Spot. That seam just ripped wide open. So we've had sort of a car seat cover on it for the rest of its ex life expectancy or <laughs> the rest of its tenure.